plastics are an integral part of our lives and are likely to become more important in the future. Specialised processes are available to handle a wide range of raw materials and every day manufacturers develop new products made from plastics. Many of the larger items, especially those of essentially hollow construction, are made by rotational moulding, a fairly simple and inexpensive method. The moulds are often the most expensive item of equipment. As it is fairly easy to get into the industry, there are many companies involved. The thing that makes some manufacturers stand out is the design and quality of the products being made. Good products cannot be made without using high quality moulds. Increasingly, manufacturers are using specialised mould makers to achieve a quality advantage over their competitors. Vision Plus is a leading pattern and mould maker with over 20 years experience meeting the needs of the New Zealand industry. The company is also experienced in making moulds for other similar processes including low pressure foams and skin forming foams. Vision Plus employ a workforce of highly skilled indentured tradespeople who have many years experience in the industry. Over the years, a range of special construction techniques have been developed which provide the strength and finish necessary to satisfy some very demanding customers. Normally customers either supply samples or drawings, but Vision Plus are also able to work from fairly general instructions that at times are only a rough idea in the designer's mind. After the design has been decided on, the first step is to make a master of the item. These are usually made from wood, but materials such as epoxy and Euroblock can be used for particular applications. A fully equipped workshop is used for initial shaping, but inevitably much of the work must be carried out by hand. Complex shapes and curves are not easily produced by machine, and it is here that skill and craftsmanship are especially important. Most of the finishing work requires hand sanding. Once the master is completed, the customer can request changes, but this shouldn't happen and can incur additional charges. It is, however, the last realistic stage to make any alterations. Once approved, a pattern is made from the master. Vision Plus are very sensitive about showing this part of the operation as their techniques differ from others in the industry. Whatever the product, it must be mouldable. That is, the powder must be able to flow into all parts of the mould. It must also be able to be removed from the mould. The cosmetic needs of the client must be balanced against the practical needs of the moulder. The mould is built in at least two sections, a top and a bottom. When the two are joined, the cavity is the exact shape of the master. Where more than two parts are required in the one mould, the various sections are constructed so they interlock to form one part of a two-part mould. For larger items, it may be necessary to make the moulds from more than two pieces. The maximum size is determined by several factors, such as the amount of raw material that can be melted, the weight of sand that must be lifted when the cast is turned over, and the quantity of aluminium required. At almost four metres in length, this is one of the largest patterns made by Vision Plus. The pattern will consist of four pieces, producing four separate sections. Once moulded, these will then be welded together to form a two-part mould. All sorts of design variations are possible. This is an office chair where there are four different backs and a common seat. The mould consists of the seat with replaceable panels for the different backs. These can be easily changed for the different models. This particular example will be made in low pressure foam, but the method is also applicable to rotational moulding. 
This approach is particularly suitable for low volume production, where the expense of individual moulds cannot be economically justified. Vision Plus are renowned for the minimum porosity aluminium castings used in their moulds. A long association with the foundry has resulted in considerable expertise in the manufacture of these castings. First, foundry sand is packed around the pattern. Binders hold the sand in place when the box is rotated and the master removed. Where several identical moulds are required, these can all be made from the same pattern. Water pipes for heating the mould can be added if required. Once the sand mould is ready, the aluminium is melted in an electric furnace to 750 degrees centigrade. Achieving low porosity requires accuracy in all areas, including temperature control. Once the aluminium has cooled and set solid, the sand can be cleaned off. At this point, the casting is ready to be returned to Vision Plus for finishing. The finishing is critical as it determines the quality of the products being made. The process involves several stages. To start, the mould is machine ground. It may look rough and ready, but like every other stage, it requires considerable skill. A slight slip and the resulting gouge could be impossible to remove. Polishing by hand is then used to achieve the required smoothness. Shot peen is an alternative finish that can be supplied. Clamps and other fixtures are added according to the customer's requirements, along with water pipes for heating or cooling. When a rotational mould is delivered to the customer, one half is attached to the moulding equipment while the second half clamps onto the first. Both the master and the pattern are retained by Vision Plus. Only the finished die is sent to the customer. This protects the skill and methods used. An alternative construction method uses special equipment to spray a thin layer of metal over the pattern instead of making an aluminium casting. In addition to cavity moulds for rotational and foam forming, Vision Plus also manufacture vacuum moulds. These are manufactured to the same high standards of design and finish.